But the problem is, every time the client turns the machine on, it just comes to this black screen with the cursor, and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot that, and we'll see if we can get it all figured out. So the very first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do, press and hold the power button, and you're gonna to wanna to hold it for about 10 seconds until all the lights on the machine turn off. That way you know the computer is actually shut down. It has not gone into suspend or sleep mode. You'll hear the hard drive click off, on older machines, like the Windows 7 machines, uh, they have a very easy to get to option called safe mode. You gotta literally press the power button and then immediately start tapping that F8 key at the top of your keyboard. And that will bring up a menu. Tap, 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 tap. You'll see the Dell screen come up or the HP or whatever. This works for all. If you see that starting window screen means that for whatever reason you missed that tiny, tiny window. So you gotta try it again. Eventually, if you do it right and you catch it just right, you'll get this window. Repair computer, safe mode, safe mode with networking, command prompt and so on, or down at the bottom, you can start Windows normally. I just wanna see if safe mode works, okay? Safe mode tells you a lot. If you can get into safe mode, but you can't get into normal mode, then you know you definitely have a Windows problem. So I'm gonna choose safe mode with networking, and you'll see it's gonna go through about a billion lines of code. Basically all this is is just Windows loading the background. You never see this normally. It's doing the same exact thing it was doing before. Uh, you'll notice here, this hard drive light is blinking right here, okay? That means the hard drive's trying to do something. It's trying to load Windows, but for whatever reason it can't. Since safe mode is obviously not working, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down the power button again, and you hear the machine click off. Now I'm gonna do the same thing as if I'm going into safe mode, but I'm gonna choose the repair your computer option. Very first option at the top of the screen. And what that does is that loads the Windows troubleshooting guide. This menu comes up as if you're gonna do a complete system recovery. Next step, just click next. If there's a username or password, you just select the username, type the password, click okay. First option is start up repair. That's what we're gonna try first. And what it does is it generally looks and sees if there's anything preventing Windows from loading that it can repair itself. And it a lot of times fixes the problem. Now in this case, startup repair could not detect the problem. I always click finish and then I always turn around and run it again. It happens a lot where you run it twice or two or three times in a row and magically it finds a problem. So you don't wanna run it just once. Um, now in this case, it's saying it could not detect the problem. So I'm starting to think we have bigger issues. Now I'm gonna try system restore. It starts to restore and then says no restore points have been created. So I'm gonna go to command prompt here. I wanna hit C colon enter and just do a DIR, a directory search of the hard drive. I wanted to just basically make sure that there were still files on the computer, the users folder, the windows folder, and so on. At this point now, I'm gonna do a, what's called a check disk, CHK, DSK, and I'm just gonna show you the options here. When you do a check disk, you can do slash F, which fixes errors on the disk, file formatting, Windows formatting, um, blank space that's not recorded properly, um, basic Windows structural issues. Slash R actually scans the hard drive, locates bad sectors, and then recovers any data that it finds. You do check disk space forward slash F, just to show you what it looks like. And it says it can't run because the volume's in use. Do you want to dismount it? The answer is yes, enter. And then it's gonna run through and do a quick little check, basically verifying Windows file structure and so on and so forth. At this point, it could still be a Windows problem. Uh, it could be a virus. It could be a hundred different things. Okay, so check disk is completed. And this is the part I was telling you about here at the very end. Uh, Windows has checked the file system and found no problems. My last resort is the restore and backup. And I do not want to do that yet because I have not backed up the client's data. Hard drive light right there. It's blinking, which means it's trying to do something. It's active. And my best guess would be that Windows can't load because there's some kind of corruption in the operating system. Since I've already done all the other diagnostic tests, I'm going to go ahead and just run the recovery. So now I can do a complete factory restore. So I'm just going to go here to Dell data safe restore and emergency backup. It even says restore your computer, including the factory state. And what that will do is it's going to completely wipe the hard drive. But what it will do is it will put it back to 
original factory settings where everything worked. When you have those black screens with the white cursors, this is worst case scenario. I went through a handful of other tests, including the check disc, doing the Windows built-in repair option, trying to do a system restore. If you have a factory refresh option, you can do that. Again, worst case scenario, but uh, hopefully some of the steps that I showed you earlier are things you can do to troubleshoot when you have a black screen with a white cursor. Most of the time, it's just a Windows problem, which in this case it is, but it was the worst kind. Anyway, hope it helped you. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate if you click that like button for me. It helps my channel and helps me grow. It helps me make more videos. Thanks for watching.